What a warm welcome. Uh, it's so great to see all of you out here this morning. And uh, uh, Maureen and I have felt welcomed uh, since we arrived in town. Uh, thank you, Chancellor, for uh, your kind words. I appreciate how much the study of law has been an inspiration and a guiding principle in, in your life. And I'm pleased that as uh, Chancellor of this university, you have a deep understanding of the uh, uh, value of legal education. Uh, to the search committee, to all the members of the search committee who selected me, thank you for your time, um, for your commitment to a process that's so critical for any law school. I have enjoyed uh, getting to know you and look forward to deepening those relationships um, in the months and years ahead. Uh, I understand some of you have uh, commitments this afternoon, so I will keep this uh, relatively brief, <laughs> um, uh, no matter how long that takes. Um, <laughs> it, it really is a pleasure to be here with you this morning. I'm so impressed uh, by both the utility and beauty of Deneen Hall, your, your new law school, your new college of law. Um, I love the way that the sunlight spills into the quarters, the study areas. That creates a, a bright, inviting environment uh, for the study of law. Uh, it is truly spectacular, and, and you, we are fortunate to have uh, this great space in which to do our work. I've spent the last five years as dean of uh, Cleveland State Uni of the Cleveland Marshall College of Law at Cleveland State University, uh, and in many ways, Syracuse University uh, is part of a similar community. Both universities are located in cities of hardworking people, cities that have gone through economic transition but retain dreams of vibrancy and success. And for me, Syracuse has passed an important test. Um, I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri, and everyone knows that Kansas City is the barbecue mecca of the world. And um, so, as you might imagine, I was particularly pleased to discover you have this place called Dinosaur Barbecue. I've eaten there three times now. Um, they, they have great sauce, and they also have Harley Davidson, so I'm feeling very, very much at home. Uh, some of you may know that a number of years ago, I was a police officer in Kansas City. I spent five years um, uh, in the department, first as a patrol officer, and then I moved into the tactical response unit where I became the sniper for the unit. Um, now, there were moments uh, of high drama and lots of adrenaline in that job, but my dream was to complete my undergraduate education and go to law school. I wanted to be able to delve deeply into the constitutional law that had been such an important part of the curriculum in the police academy. After eventually completing my bachelor's degree, I had the opportunity to pursue that dream. I vividly remember preparing for the LSAT by flashlight in a patrol car uh, while I was still in the department. And I will never forget that time and how it paved the way for me to acquire an, a legal education. That legal education has been immensely rewarding uh, to me on many levels, and it opened opportunities for me that I could not have imagined all those years ago. And it's that experience that has impressed upon me the great value of a legal education. Now, it's well known that we currently navigate difficult waters. A flagging job market, emerging disruptive technologies, dramatic changes in the delivery of legal services. But a legal education is no less important. In fact, it's even more important now than it was 10 years or 25 years or 100 years ago. This nation is built upon the rule of law, and we need people educated in the law to strengthen, sustain, and reinforce that vital foundation. Syracuse Law has a proud tradition of educating and training its students to use the law as a tool in the pursuit of justice as well as in business and commerce. That proud tradition must and will continue, and it will continue in a manner that is informed by the changing world in which we live and work. When I spent a few days on campus here during the search process, I was asked to describe my vision for Syracuse Law, and this is what I shared with the faculty. My vision for Syracuse Law is of a financially sustainable law school that leverages the knowledge, skills, and imagination of its faculty and staff to expand legal education in innovative ways. Let me just say that again. My vision for Syracuse Law is of a financially sustainable law school that leverages the knowledge, skill, and imagination of its faculty and staff 
to expand legal education in innovative ways. I want Syracuse Law to be seen as the destination for anyone with the dream of studying the law. Our faculty will continue to expand and develop, refine and augment our understanding of the law through their scholarship. But I also want Syracuse Law to be a place known for expanding legal education into new areas, as a laboratory for new teaching methods, as an incubator for new legal education programs. And my goal is to guarantee that our students, however they choose to pursue their study of law, are fully prepared for a world in which technology presents both staggering new challenges and possibilities every day. It was exciting to listen to the Chancellor share his dreams for the College of Law, which I believe mirror this vision. I'm deeply moved by the mission at Syracuse, and it's uplifting to hear about the university's extraordinary achievements in recent months. It clearly is a place that is in motion, and I promise you that the College of Law will be an engine to assist in that movement. And Chancellor, as for that idea of an upward trajectory, it is a direction I intend to maintain for all of us, faculty, staff, and students, to maintain at Syracuse Law. I'm ready to be part of the Syracuse Law community, and I look forward to joining with you in the work that lies ahead of us. Thank you very much.